All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back for another episode of Nova Atis. I'm having so much fun with this series, guys. Like, uh, it has legit been a while since I've I've felt like excited to come home and and play a series this late at night after a long day at work. It doesn't normally happen. I, I normally just want to you know chill, relax, and then go to sleep. But uh, now I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to coming home and recording for you guys. Anyhow, last episode. Old Cerny Banners, uh, Old Man Cerny Banners, gotta use his right title, uh, we leveled up into, what, a laborer, I believe we are now? Something like that? And, uh, we did that by buying a bunch of properties. However, as you guys mentioned <laughs> a few times in the comments, it doesn't, it doesn't seem right that, uh, you know, the man of the people is also going to be charging them a bunch of rent to live in his buildings. And I agree with that sentiment. So we are actually going to be renting out those buildings that we just bought for free. Which kind of hurts a little bit because we did spend like 30k plus on those buildings. But here's what we're going to do in the future to make money. We are only going to rent out for money mansions and stuff like that that are going to the rich. We're going to charge the rich money to live in our buildings, but we'll let the poor live in our smaller buildings for free. I think that's that's fair, and that'll give us a way to uh, actually try to maintain a decent income. So, anyhow, here we are. We're back in Zendar, and I noticed this guy here, the Jihad Merchant. And the first thing, I was, uh, I mean, I was like, what does this guy sell? Is he about to give me some uh, suicide bombs? Like, what are we looking at here? Uh, but no, it's a bunch of just uh, actually fairly decent armor really not too bad i mean not not better than what we have enough to be worth uh buying it but the one thing he has oh my god did you just hear my stomach like growling i didn't eat all day today maybe i should have done that before recording <laughs> um the one thing he did have that i was looking at was this winged mace so it is uh actually not that much better than this club if i'm being honest it has four more blunt damage but other than that it's uh like identical but that four blunt damage is significant, and we are actually going to be using this today, because I was told that there is another way to gain a shit ton of prestige, and that is... Wait, hold on, let me actually pull this thing out. That is through capturing people and then just setting them free. And that would also kind of play into the story in that, you know, if we take out a group of deserters and we take them prisoner, you know, old man Cerny Bander sits them down and says, Hey, change your ways. Be better. Go out there, improve your lives and whatnot. Don't steal from others. And then set some free and we get prestige like that. It works out. So that's the plan. Um, there is another tournament going on in Zendar. I guess it's day two of the exact same tournament we won at the end of last episode. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm not going to record that because we've got shit to do this episode. And I want to keep this at a manageable length. So I'll, I will be back in a sec. All right, we're back. Final round. Uh, this has been a perfect tournament. We haven't gotten touched legitimately haven't gotten touched which means we're probably going to get knocked out this round but it won't matter because we are so far ahead we've been averaging like five kills around <laughs> it's been nuts we've we've won every single bet so far um so we're up a huge amount of money we're about to win more for this first place prize there we go good stuff good stuff Whew. the the power strike is is disgusting now i can't even imagine what it would feel like with 10 this is more than enough as is. Goodbye. Another five kills right there. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Look at this. 45 points. That's by far our most. Another 4,000 florins for the win on top of the 6k that we just picked up. 900 experience, 24 renown, and some sweet tobacco to smoke and celebrate. Not a bad night. We're up to 10k. Alright, so anyhow, let's go to the, the manage our property here. So... So let's look at the different tiers of houses here, right? So you got the shack. All right. That, I mean, look, only costs us a thousand to buy. We understand. People living in the shack. We we saw what the shack looked like. They're struggling. All right, we're not going to charge them rent. The apartment? Oh. Oh. You guys remember that? You get to climb up five sets of stairs just to get to your bed? Yeah. We're, we're not going to charge them rent. The laborer house. The laborer house was close. I wasn't sure, especially since we've already bought like four of them. I wasn't sure... If I wanted to give that up for free, but I mean, if it has it in the name, oh, laborers, that's the working class right there living in those houses. We're not going to charge them rent. Now, everything else, the patrician mansion, the noble great house, the town palaces, whenever we buy some of those, oh, you best believe we're charging those people money. We're charging them as much as we can. But these guys, we're throwing them out. 
we're throwing them out. No, okay. This is this is just in terms of uh, <laughs> we're throwing them out in terms of we're throwing out your rent. That's what that means. That's what that word means. <laughs> um, so now that does mean that we need to go save up. Uh, this is a pretty cheap town to buy property in. And so what did it say? 17k for a patrician mansion. We're almost there. We're almost there. There's one other thing I wanted to do though. Um, visit the guild hall. I'm not sure if we're allowed to do this yet, but I want to check. So I mentioned last episode that you, this isn't a normal mod where you can just buy property. You can just buy like a die works and just, just like that a week later, you're earning, you're earning money. You, if you want to operate a business, you gotta, you gotta prove your worth and you gotta start from the bottom here in the guild. So hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Zendar. I'm the guild master of the town. All right. Um, I, so what you need to do is you need to become an apprentice and learn the profession before you can operate that business in that town. So what we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and do a solid little, um, priest crafting. What does that do? Uh, eh, let's do, let's be a winemaker. That sounds fun. We haven't done that before. Winemaker. All right. You need to pay for your stay. I reckon it costs 375. All right. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Now you're an apprentice. There's an option available via the town menu to visit your workplace, do this daily, and talk to the cr master craftsman to complete your job and increase the chance of making a masterpiece. All right, so that's how it works. Um, so we go over... Where's it at? Visit your workplace, right here. So you show up to work every day. You're helping to make some wine. Where's the... Uh, where's our dude at? Isn't there normally a guy you have to talk to, like your uh, your boss? Oh, there he is. If I have to walk all the way around here every day, just to show up to work and clock in. Greetings, <laughs> old man, Cerny Banders. Uh, you must be the the apprentice the guild master sent. Now to make it short, I expect you to work hard. You must return daily to do your job. All right, I'll start working. Uh, so you work today, come back tomorrow. Masterpiece chance increases by three. So what that means is after you've worked, you know, a couple days, a week or two, maybe. Um, you can go to the guild master and say, Hey, I think I'm ready to start my own business. I think I'm ready to prove my worth. And he's going to be like, all right, I need you to make me a masterpiece. All right. And it costs, it doesn't cost that much. It costs like 150, uh, to, to make an attempt and you can attempt it as many times as you want. Um, but obviously we're going to, we're going to come here a few days, get our, our chances for a masterpiece up to like, I don't know, God, at least like, you know, 15, 20% or something like that. And then we'll go ahead, make the masterpiece, and we'll be able to uh, start our own die works. So in the meantime, we need to, we do need to come back every single day, which kind of sucks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run around here, look for some easy fights. So we can, uh, ooh, potentially actually take some prisoners and prestige up that way. That would actually be great if we can find some easy fights. Um, so yeah, and then I'll be going to work every day, and I'll be back in a sec. Oh my god, this mace brings the pain. I'm finishing off this group of uh, Zendar swordsmen, and then they actually killed up my horse. And I was like, well, fuck, there's like 10 of them left. I'm not going to be able to beat them, but this mace clobs or clobs them, clobbers them. <laughs> this is not fair. 33 Renault, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we captured 13 enemies. Hell yeah. All right, we're not going not gonna to take him prisoner. We're going to release them. And, oh, you only get two prestige per person. What, Logan? I thought you said in the comments you get 50 prestige per person, which felt very overpowered. Okay, well, I mean, still 23 or 26 prestige isn't bad. I guess we'll take that. I had to tell, I, I did actually find a couple manhunters in a party that I took out. So, uh, these boys, well, against weak enemies, I'll have them actually fight with us and try to get some prisoners with me. Obviously, Frank is not taking part in the fighting quite yet. Uh, but against those guys, I knew that if I had charged our boys in, they'd die. Uh, so we don't have a horse anymore. Um, I, do, I did find a new helmet. Bought that. So that's why we don't have nearly as much cash as we did before. But that's okay. That is okay. Alright. Let's head, um, let's head back over to Zendar. It's about to be morning. We're going to sell off what we just got. 921 florins for that is actually pretty great. And uh, we do need a new horse. Hopefully there's one for 3k or less. Please less. <laughs> That's actually, that would actually be a pretty expensive horse. <gasps> okay, a thousand. All right, lame, lame, stubborn that we can't ride. Warhorse. Perfect. 
Yes. Which one are we going to get the straight white with a little bit of gold on it? Or are we going to get the, the pink checkerboard? Yeah, that's, that's not even a question. Um, yeah, not even a question at all. All right, boom. We'll take that. That's, oh, that's going to be a lot tankier. Way more armor, 50 more HP. That's awesome. All right, exactly what we want to see. Good stuff. Visit the workplace. We're a couple days into it. I think uh, after today, I think we'll maybe visit two more times. And then we should be, we should have close to a 20% chance of success. I think we can actually check if we just visit the guild hall here. All right, so we go over here, talk to him. 12% uh, chance. Okay, so that's not great. So I think we'll wait three more days. That way we're up to 21% chance. But yeah, Guildmaster may have the honor to produce my masterpiece. And then I think it's like 150 per attempt. All right. So anyways, back on the grinding. Let's uh, see if we can't get some uh, some more juicy little prisoners and our pikemen. All right. So we'd like to see six manhunters held prisoner. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right. Come to Papa. Oh, I don't like this map. We got anything better. Anything flatter. I'm looking for something roughly as flat as my ex girl No, sorry. <laughs> I'm not even gonna not even gonna finish that sentiment. That statement. This is uh still isn't great if I'm being honest. But we'll take it. So uh, try to soften them up a little bit. Alright, these guys these guys aren't too tanky. Come on. Man, that guy seemed really determined. He like put his head down, he was like, I'm coming. Swiggity swooty motherfucking coming for that booty. Oh, get one tapped. Get one tap to the mace, buddy. Yeah, this thing hits hard. How, how many hit points do these guys have? We're knocking them out with like 40 damage shots. I mean, I know guy like troops in this mod are pretty weak, but that's just pathetic. Oof, okay, okay, okay. Careful, careful. They do have a they do have the range advantage here. But we are gonna try to capture as many of them as possible. Alright, let's tell our uh, guys to actually charge in here and give me a little bit of a hand. I'm hoping at this point there's so few of them. Oof, okay. Most of them aren't getting clean shots on us, but whenever they do hit, that does sting a little bit. I think I've leveled up too. Oh, and I just leveled up again. Okay, wow, they're actually doing a little bit of work now. Manhunter, help me. Thank you, thank you. Good job, lads. Actually, ooh, I shouldn't have charged Frank in. Frank could How did Frank get here at the same time as the guys on horseback? Frank, you necromancer master you. I don't know. <laughs> He's magical. That's the only explanation. All right, we'll go ahead and release those guys. Another 18 and six new man hunters for the squad. Make that two slave drivers. Is it bad for our image if we have slave drivers with us? Is that is that bad? I know we're a man of the people, but we have slave drivers. These are reformed, reformed slave drivers. Okay, all right. Let's uh, <laughs> let's phrase it that way. Um, oh, oh, it's the swing that does, uh, blunt damage. Okay. For a second there, I thought it had a, th that these, uh, did, th uh, thrusting blunt damage. I was like, perfect, that's exactly what I've been looking for, is a lance that does blunt damage. You need, like, a tournament lance. That'd be awesome for, uh, capturing guys. Alright. Well, things are looking up. Things are looking very good. Alright, well, I'll, uh, keep on searching. Are you kidding me? Incompetent administrator. We're getting so unlucky with these traits. Sloppy with paperwork and government issues, this man makes a poor gov governor negative 10% town income income as mayor, negative percent negative 10% income from towns as mayor slash from vassal. Fuck me. We're not only did we upgrade from ugly to unsightly, we're now in actually incompetent. At least we're still loyal. At least we're still loyal. Also, we got invited to a tournament here in Aldarius, and I came right away. Oh, there we go. It started. Perfect. All right, well, I guess let's win this quick. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's another dub right there. Boom! 4,000 florins again, and pretty sure we got our bet every round? Close to it. 1,000 XP, some tobacco. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. There you go, Pope. There you go, Popey boy. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's actually go sell that stuff off. Ba -ba -ba. Whoops. Nope, not the clean water. Give that back. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, Alright, I think we got to be getting close to, uh, to ready to operate our business. 
to create our masterpiece? Let's try it. Let's see what's, let's see what we got going on. Uh, Zendar just declared war on Swadia, which um, I think that I think that should go well for Zendar. Obviously, they're at a risk because if Swadia takes over their one and only town, they're done. There's no coming back from that. But at the same time, they have like the same number of lords as any other faction, and all of those lords, unless they're on a military campaign like we just saw sieging down that castle, they're all chilling right here at Zendar. It's almost impossible to besiege it. So, I think they'll do pretty well. I think they'll do pretty well. Uh, Alright, workplace. I don't think I came in yet on this day. No, no, definitely not since we were waiting out by Aldarius. I think this should get us up to 21%. Even if it's 18%, that's that's close enough. All right, let's uh, let's wait for a little bit, wait for morning, and then we will uh, go talk to the uh, guild master and see what he has to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you can also, there was something that, like, you can donate money to the new guild hall? Hmm. I need to build up some capital before doing such things. Yep, that is the case. Uh, I think you get prestige for doing that, though. So that's another way, potentially, we could do that. Um... Well, we'll hold on. We'll hold off on that for the time being. I think eventually, um, you know, after we've bought a few uh, big properties that we can actually be charging rent for, then we can, uh, you know, blow some money like that. But no, right now, Guildmaster, may I have the honor of to produce my new masterpiece? Twenty-one percent, one hundred fifty florins for the cost. All right, all right. But this is getting expensive. Show us your masterpiece. Well, if this is the result of all your work, it is a bitter disappointment. Work harder next time and do not waste our time. Oof. Oof. All right, let me try again. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Okay. Third time's a charm. Look, it's going to take on average five times for us to make this one happen. All right. Come on. As they say, fourth time's a charm. Mm. All right, fifth one. Oh no, we're we're getting unlucky. We are officially in unlucky territory here. How unlucky are we? Oh man. Thank God we just won like 10k from that tournament. We might be blowing it all here. This should have only costed us cost us 750. Uh, we're getting close to what? 1500 now holy shit these guys are brutal come on oh my god we're so unlucky well oh thank god hey we got some prestige for it though excellent wine jesus it was that hard to make wine well shoot no if jesus had been there it would have been easy to make wine he just, he just snaps that finger where's that water at Psych, we're having a party. We're having a darty now. It's the middle of the day. We're drinking wine. Excellent wine. Thank you very much. Only cost me like 1500 to make. Let's go and sell that right back. Colored Lance, huh? All right. Ooh. Ooh. Heavy. Flanged. Flanged mace. It's better in all ways. 26 blunt damage instead of 24. It's three points faster. Goodbye, winged mace. I don't need you anymore. We'll I'll tell you what, we'll keep you on retainer. We'll keep you back here. I do need to uh, start recruiting some heroes soon. We might uh, we might give them your, the winged mace so they they can help us knock some some fools out. Balanced rapier. Oh, that thing's pretty good. Forty eight piercing damage. Yeah, that's nasty. It's not as good as the the heavy bastard sword. Is insane. It's so nice. Not as nice as these weapons, but we're probably never going to use them. I know one of you, some of you guys want me to get up to 30 strength in order to use them, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. So anyhow, we've done that. We have our masterpiece. Now, we can actually try to operate an enterprise. So let's do that. Hop over here. Uh, I would like to buy land for a productive enterprise. Yep, they trust us now, so a wine press. A couple things to keep in mind. Skilled laborers are always at a premium. So I doubt that you will be able to open up more than one enterprise here. In order to make a profit for yourself, you should choose a commodity which is in relatively short supply, but for which the raw materials are cheap. I want to start a wine press. It's going to lose us 100 florins a week. That is unfortunate. We're going to do it anyways, because we can upgrade it. Um, 
and I'm hoping that with upgrades, it will make it profitable. However, we only have 3k right now, so I do not think we're going to be able to afford too many, uh, too many upgrades to start things out. Hey, look, it's mine now. I, I like to think that the, that the master Vinter or whatever just did all of this to scammy. He like trained, trained us up and had us pay him like 10k in order to get the place when he secretly, he was losing money on this the whole time. Okay, so we gotta wait seven days, but you can actually upgrade it. I promise you, that's a thing. You can upgrade it and make it more profitable. I'm hoping. If we can't make it profitable, holy fuck, we just wasted a ton of time and effort. Um, until then, I'm gonna go out and try to win another tournament or two. And who's this? Elite Spearman. All right, let's fight these guys. All right, almost done. Nice little level up there. These guys, they looked a little nasty with those spears, and I uh, didn't want to get hurt too much before we potentially went out and tried to find some tournaments. But uh, I think we're going to run out of bolts here, and I'm going to have to go in and finish some of these guys off anyways. Alright, fuck it, let's just do it. See how this new uh, flanged thing works. Okay, ouch. What the f- He wasn't even swinging! Yo, did you see that? He's not even swinging when he hit us the second time. Oh my god, what was that? This mace feels a lot shorter than the other one, if I'm being honest. It hits hard, don't get me wrong. It, it just feels a lot shorter, I'm not sure why. Alright, that's fine, we didn't take too much damage there. Frank, our necromancer overlord's giving us a little cheer in the background, thank you. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll release those guys, get a little bit more prestige. And the slave driver, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, onwards to uh, a tournament, to some more money. Alright, nice little pick up there. Just took out a group of uh, Sea Raiders. Not too shabby. Did lose a few of our boys. Took them out in a couple waves there. That's some more prestige. Alright, our first ever... S oh, hello. This guy's starting to look pretty decent. Oh, and a bunch of slave drivers. Yeah, they did great there. Alright, good stuff. Uh, none of this is better than what we currently have, but this is worth quite a good amount of money. That's awesome. Nice, 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 nice. I really like our, our loadout that we have right now. We're looking snazzy. We're a little hurt going into this tournament, but honestly not too bad. So I'm not not worried about it. 19 more Sea Raiders. I'm not trying to do that. We lost a lot of guys in the last one. All right, let's quick do this tournament. Um, sell our stuff off first here. Oh, yeah, that's, that's some money right there. <laughs> that's some money right there. 1,800. I didn't see how much we made in straight cash after the battle, but that should, I, th I assume it was pretty decent. Uh, if we can have another big tournament here, we're going to be uh, looking pretty good. Oh, boom. Another one. Ooh, more money this time. Over 4K. God, when are we actually going to be invited into these tournaments? <laughs> so we can actually... Or, uh, sorry, invited into the uh, the castle. So uh, old man Cerny Banders can get his flirt on with the ladies. That's what I want to know. But what the fuck? Four level ups? Oh, that's right. I leveled up several times during that Sea Raider fight. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's get intelligence up to 15. Hell yeah. Wound treatment. First aid. Persuasion we don't really need yet. Not yet. Let's just go all the, all the way around with our uh, medical skills. Yeah. That's the one thing <laughs> old man Cerny Banders is all about. Free health care to all of my troops. That's what it's about. Oh my god, 20s. Why are... The Sea Raider party is so huge. Oh, and the Vegas just declared war on Swadia too? Man, Swadia is getting gangbanged right now. Today, the oh, for the fuck's face. sake. Right, there's only 12 of them at least. Um, I'll tell you what, hold up. There's not going to be prisoners this time. Last time we lost a couple dudes. Uh, this time, I'm not going to fuck around with them. We're just going to take them out quick and easy with this. And actually, I'm not going to tell these guys to stay back. Prestige-wise, I think we're doing okay. I think we'll be fine. If we need to, at the end of the episode, we'll, like, donate some money to the, uh, the guild and get prestige that way. Or even just buy, buy some land. We should have enough with, like, one more tournament. Oh, fuck. Hello. Okay. Well, actually, their axes don't do that much damage to my horse, which is very nice. That is all- Ooh, hello. Alright. Axe is getting close to hitting me, though. GG's. GG's. Oh my god, just cutting them in half. Yeah. 
the range on this thing is nasty. We just need we need a long blunt weapon. You know what I mean? Like just a massive two-handed dildo. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> just knock him out with the uh, the old purple two-sided. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna stop there. <laughs> nice. It was funny, just uh, randomly, my uh, sister mentioned how she watched uh, Bernie Sanders podcast with uh, with Joe Rogan, and uh, all I could think about with this was this series that we're doing right now. It's kind of wild because my sister is, you know, she's in high school. She is uh, not at all politically inclined. Like literally, I don't think anything interests her less than that. Like she is the opposite of like you know a nerd that follows politics. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting that even she had, like watched Joe Rogan's podcast. How many? You know, I'm gonna look it up real quick. How many views did that thing get? Last time I checked, it was like at five plus million. Is it on the front page anymore of YouTube? Doesn't look like it. Uh, Bernie Sanders. All right, I'll just do that. Let's loot this up. <laughs> what the hell? I look at Bernie Sanders and you can't even see the Joe Rogan. All right, add in Joe Rogan. Eight million views already in six days. That's pretty incredible. Wow. All right, come on. No more, uh, no more Sea Raiders. I've, I've had enough of that. I've had enough of y'all. Is that uh, Tiger Bandits? I mean, that's better than Sea Raiders, but fuck's sake, there's so many. So many banners, and this is the uh, the nice Nordic Union territory that you're talking about that you want that you're wanting to emulate with your uh, your democratic social <laughs> your so democratic socialist uh, republic or whatever. Oh, wait, no, this is the Kingdom of Norag, or the, or the Nordic Union. Oh, that's over here. Okay, yeah, see. God, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no, you don't get those bandit problems over there. <laughs> so, something like that. All right, all right, all right. Good, 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 good. 784, that was it, huh? That's all we got for them? Oh, we'd get a bit more. All right, whatever. Uh, let's head back to Zendar. Hopefully it's been near a week, and we will just uh, start upgrading that. How much money do I have right now? 15k? That's not not enough for a mansion, even in uh, Zendar. It's weird that Zendar has the cheapest land out of everywhere. You know, the Merchant Republic, like the ultra wealthy city uh, state. I don't know. I would have thought land prices there would have been pretty expensive, but I guess not. What was it? What were those guys? Yeah, not worth our time. Set over here. Are we done yet? Are we ready? You guys all set up and uh, ready to lose me 100 dinars a week? This is what I get for going against the grain. We normally always just do a die works. Because die works almost always make money. Three more days. But this is what I get for trying to uh, change things up. Now we're losing money in this enterprise that costs us 10 grand. You gotta love it. Alright. Let's wait. Th Bruh. What is with these traits? Bad supplier, proven to be incapable with supplying armies, people, starve. Wait. Proven to be incapable with supplying armies, people starve, and armies perish in hot deserts and cold winters if this man is at command. Plus 10 attrition. What is going on? Where are the pop-up events that give me even some semblance of a chance to, like, you know, spend money to improve my traits and try to improve ourselves? This is horrible. This is awful. I think we still got like another day or so before uh, Zendar is uh, ready for us. We'll just wait that real quick. Alright, let's see if it's ready now. Might still not be. To take out a little group of, uh, what was it, Spearmen? I don't know, it was a super small group. We didn't make much money off it, unfortunately. Boom! Okay. Okay, here we go. Net profit right now. It's actually negative 164. Huh. All right. So here's what we need to do. I want to hire more workers. All right. Boom. Nice. Now it's oh okay. So now it's only a net profit of negative fifty-eight. Nice. All right. Let's hire more. Another hundred twenty. Yep. Okay. We're actually making money now. There we go. Okay. I told you we could turn this around. How many can? What's the max? Five. Is that it? Yeah. Five is the most you can get. Net profit of two sixty. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. But we can do some more. We can improve efficiency and stuff like that. Uh, so let us 
in vest in this enterprise. Uh, 350. This is actually not too expensive. 350 to increase overall efficiency. Boom. We can do that a couple times actually, but we're not gonna do that for right now. Da uh, daily program for time efficiency. Sure. 200 florins. Uh, less waste of materials. Yeah, sure. We're keeping all the grapes, even the shitty ones. Uh, less failures. Yeah. Fire protection. Really? We're it's a winery. Worst thing that happens, a barrel sets on fire, leaks, and the wine puts out the fire. But okay, sure, 150, whatever. Burglary protection, yep, that's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Better education for workers. I mean, Cerny Banners would definitely be for that. I don't know how much that really helps with them producing wine. Actually, you know, understanding the the scientific processes behind making wine and whatnot, that, that could actually probably be beneficial. So there you go, yeah, 300 for that. Purchase better machinery, sure. And then we can continue increasing overall efficiency a couple times. Boom. We are all done. We are now making, after all of that money, 500 a week. Yeah. Yeah. Not great. It'd be a lot more if it was a, a die works, but uh, it was not meant to be. It was not meant to be. At least we're making money now, okay? After investing, what was that? 10k plus what do we just upgrade right there probably like at least another 5k I'm making 500 a week we'll get that money back in like you know half a year <laughs> like half a year which is actually about the same if when we did the math for um how long it takes for our properties to pay themselves back so that's actually pretty close it's actually pretty close it wasn't actually 5k it was like three three four k and upgrades there all right uh last thing i want to uh buy one mansion or whatever the patrician mansion uh, before the end of this episode. So let me do just double check how expensive one of those are. Oh, prices have gone up here. 23k now. Told you they fluctuate. Um, Yikes. <sighs> how close are we to uh, ranking up? That's the other thing. I want to. That's part of the reason I want to buy it. Is because I want us to get... Oh. Wait, we did level up. We're a craftsman now. All right, you belong to a class of skilled. Oh, that actually, I think that actually happens as soon as you create your masterpiece. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So we actually need a lot more prestige for the next class. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Let me try to find one more tournament. We'll get enough money. Buy ourselves our first mansion so we can start actually draining some cash from the rich into our pockets. And uh, hopefully putting that back into society where we want it. There we go, another dub. You love to see it. All right, there you go. Huh. How much money is that? I missed two of the rounds, I think. Yeah, two of the rounds we didn't get the bet, but we do have 21K, I wonder if that's enough. Let's actually check here. Maybe the, the properties will be cheaper here. <sighs> nope, just as expensive. Maybe the properties stay the same price across every town. Like, every town has the same price in terms of properties. That just one price fluctuates over time. Oh, we're just short. All right. Let me get some more. All right. Here we go. This is one of those pop-up events I've been talking about that has never come up until now. All right. And once again, you remember the story of your uncle, a renowned duelist. He never, ever lost a fight, according to the stories. Never before had such a great man received the favor of many. All right. Option one, I will follow in his footsteps and fight for death or glory. You gain negative two iron flesh, but a plus 80% chance at gaining a good dueling trait. Option two, a great story. Enemies will fear me as well. You lose an iron flesh, but you get a 40% chance of gaining the good duelist trait. Uh, option three, I, uh, I rather prefer to save my life than perform foolish attacks, plus one iron flesh but you have a chance of getting the bad dueling trait. And then this one, duels are for idle-hearted men, idle-headed men. Blessed are those who bring peace. That sounds like our option, and we gain plus two iron flesh for it. Boom. So we do that. We now have nine iron flesh. That is amazing. Because, frankly, we weren't going to get that high. We weren't going to get to 27 strength. So that's great. Um... And I don't think we got the bad duelist trait. Oh, nope. Yep, we did. What does that What does that give us? Negative five prestige a week. Oh, that one really sucks. Come on. All right. Fuck me, man. There it is. Yep. 
We have like all bad traits except for loyal. This is not going well. Alright. Still waiting for another tournament to start. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back shortly. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's another win. Boom. I was actually close. I came down to the last round. It was between me and I... What was his name? Reginald? No, it was someone else. But whoever... whoever We were on opposite sides, and whichever side won was going to uh, win that tournament. But there we go. 29k. We're up there now. Yalen? Fuck it. Let's just get some property here. Yes, Patrician Mansion, 23,000 florins. Boom, we will buy it. Let's see. Let's see what this thing looks like. 115 prestige points. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this thing's nice. This thing's nice right here. Okay, an actual normal-looking kitchen kind of area. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you know, some more storage. Oh, they got the wine. You know, it's... Uh, it's. Oh, we need to come up with, like, a brand name for uh, Old Man Cerny Bander's Wine. Oh, what's the brand name for it? Oh, it's a nice little, that's a nice little bed right there. Yep. Oh, it's it's got another room too. I oh, got the guest room for when you got the hose over. <sighs> These guys. These guys. And we can rent that out for 920 a week. It's a good start. That is a good start. But we're going to need more. We need to take more money from them. But let's see. I think with that, we should have enough to rank up. Actually, no, we're not. We won't. I forgot, because we already did rank up this episode. But we will definitely be able to rank up again next episode. That's my goal, is to have us rank up once every episode. It's going to get harder the longer we go, but uh, I think... Um, that's what she said. Uh, I think we should be able to manage it for at least a little while. Um, that's also what she said. Uh, anyways, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy.